finally, 25 years since the first of his six UK crowns, he's back as defending champion. Recovering from 4-1 down against former world champion Ken Doherty yesterday, winner of 33 ranking titles in all, blink and you'll miss him, the Rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan. <laughs> So here we go at the start of round three at the Wilson Yan match live on the red button and online this afternoon. We will, of course, keep you posted on it, but for now, we'll be watching the defending champion Ronnie O'Sullivan's progress here on BBC Two, and we'll do so in the company of John and Sean. Over to you. Break. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. Thank you very much, Hazel, and good afternoon to everybody in this packed Barbican Centre. And why wouldn't it be with the Rocket in town? Make no mistake, he should be given the test today, Sean. Yeah, this young man from China won't be phased about being out there today. Uh, most of the generation coming from China at the moment, they seem to just take these moments in their stride. So, very hard worker, very good pro. Only been on the tour four years, I think. But really establishing himself as one of the guys who's going to make a run at being one of the big names in the future. So, this will be an interesting day today to see how he copes with this but uh, I think he's going to put up a good show well felt like he was forced into that not the easiest shot to have straight out the, off the bat One. I think Ronnie will be extra wary today. He got himself 4-1 behind yesterday to an inspired Ken Doherty. It has to be said, Ken was magnificent to lead 4-1. Played really well, Ken. Scoring was great. Looked confident around the table. And wasn't, you know, Ronnie missed one or two balls in that match, but early on, Ken was just superb. So he had to dig deep. He won't fancy another one of those matches today. Six. As usual, Ronnie O'Sullivan, the best break builder we've ever seen. Wasted no time getting straight into the pack, opening more reds up. Did have a loose red he could have played for, but the best scorers, Ronnie and Stephen, that's what they do. First chance straight in. Yeah, it wasn't even just that, Sean, was it? The fact it was just plumb on the pink as well, wasn't it? Couldn't hit it any straighter on, which of course will mean that the cue ball stays in the middle of the table. The things Seven. that impresses me most about Ronnie, having played him a number of times myself in the last 12 months, is just how quickly he adapts to the playing conditions of the day. He does it better than any player on tour. These tables in this arena were all recovered last night. They're all brand new cushions, brand new bed cloth, brand new sets of balls. That means they'll just all play that slightly bit differently. They'll all spin a little bit more. And it's interesting to see how quickly somebody like Ronnie can adapt to that. Yeah, it's just surveying the scene here. He's got a couple of options. The two reds are on the left-hand side. He'd like to get the one that's closest to the cushion out the way fairly quickly because if the black pots, it, that's a natural. But the way he's going about it, it, it mustn't do so. It's a change of plan. And he's played on the red above the black, and that looks perfect. 12. That's an example of what you're talking about, Sean. I mean, that shot straight off in the first frame is superb. Yeah, as I say, 13. I mean, it, it looks so easy, but that's the skill of someone like Ronnie O'Sullivan. He makes these shots just look very, very simple. And on a, on a brand new cloth, they're not, you know, a table he doesn't know. It's a brand new cloth. He's out there, he doesn't know how it's going to react. And to have that cue ball on a string straight away is exactly what I was talking about. And as the opponent sat in the chair, it, you know, you watching this yourself, he'll be calculating that Xiao Yulong sat down. He'll already Plenty. see that Ronnie's in stroke, got the cue ball under control. And if he didn't know it already, 21. he'll know he's in a game.
It's one of those funny things when you look at the table and Ronnie came there. It, that shot he played looked like nothing, but it was the link to virtually the whole of the break. It's come to absolute perfection to land on that red. And now he's getting the reward with all of these and more to come. Twenty-nine. I doubt it'll be long before we see him go into the pack. He may well do it here. He's got reserve reds. The red nearest the black and the one near his hand. They're acting as reserves. Chose to play off the cushion for the red in the corner, which was the one near his hand, as I mentioned. He won't be leaving it too much longer, 36. I suggest. Thirty-seven. High on the black now, he can play for either of these two reds and the one above or below the black. 44. 45. Playing against O'Sullivan as how quickly the scoreboard changes. 52. 52 points in a blink. And it not only puts pressure on you when you've got a chance to have a pot. 53. Massive pressure on your safety. Or in Zhao's case, when he took the long red on and missed it. You don't have to make many mistakes to be in trouble in this match. 60. He wanted on that, a little bit thin. Yeah, those reds were all in sort of a diagonal line, which meant the cue ball was always going to skim off them. But he tried for a thicker contact. Great recovery pot. Really good shot. 61. He's quite confident at the minute. That was a big shot to take on. He'd love that pink to have stopped before it got to the side cushion. Would have made it easier, but still fancying for this blue. Can you put that down, please? Got a light on the front. Just disturbed by somebody in the audience trying to take a picture. That's also a skill that's become part of the game now. You know, we travel around the world 66. playing in different countries and different cultures. Uh, you know, people taking pictures and videos of us whilst we're playing. It's become something that we all have to get used to now and get on with. But it takes a certain skill to get up from the shot, be disturbed, start again, start your focus again, run your routine. It's not easy. He's surprised by 66. it, so am I. <laughs> Mid-range shot there, just a few of them yesterday. There's match with Ken Doherty now. I know it's the first frame, but this is a very big chance to at least establish yourself in the match. Balls are all in the open, with the exception of the pink. Can you score a few and let your opponent know that you're here to play? One. A little bit shorter pace. And as I say, that's only his second shot of the match, so we can forgive him for these early little mistakes. These are only very small errors, but if that cue ball had run on another three or four inches, he'd have been perfectly on this black. He still should get this part, of course. It's a little bit more difficult than he wanted. Nicely in the heart of the pocket. He had a great result in the last round. Anyone who beats Mark Davis, the form Mark's in recently, is Eight. playing well. Well, at least the final of the week. That's to Stuart Bingham. Shao managed to beat him six frames to four. 
And that's a nice pot. That's the type of pot nice. that can shove you down into a match. Very smooth. Yeah, as I said earlier on, he won't be phased about this. He just wants to settle down, take a few deep breaths. Well, it looks like he's already settled. Don't think he needs to play a cannon of any kind. I think the red nearest the pink spot's available, and obviously the loose one. And it's one of those situations, as he removes the red on the pink spot, that will free the one directly underneath it into the pocket he's just potted the black. So he doesn't have to make any cannons here, he just needs to keep that cue ball under close control. Seventeen. It's changed things, he didn't want the cannon. Yeah, it's one of those shots that's actually made it a bit worse. He comes through there, he actually potted the red in the left-hand side of the pocket, as we can see. If he just potted that straight in the middle, he wouldn't have got that little flick cannon. see the red that's nearest the cue ball is available into the left middle pocket they're both available into the yellow pocket and he's got the loose one so he still doesn't have to move the reds if he doesn't want to well I'm sorry but that I don't think he's a great shot there it should have been a lot easier on the Thank single red he's going to take this on and there's a good chance he may knock it in but the cue ball isn't ideal and hasn't been for the last two or three shots. Yeah, it was just a bit of a nervy one, I think, the black. It just wasn't quite struck with authority. Just a little bit of nerves creeping in, early nerves. As John said, this is a big moment. Pressure just mounts when you lose the cue ball. Long 24. But, it, you know, it was the shot before the run through. He didn't need to play the cannon on those two reds. If he pots that red straight in the pocket, he would have been in an ideal position. So, as we always say, there's no such thing as an easy shot in the snooker table. Everyone requires concentration. Completely unexpected fluke. Certainly didn't see that one coming. Looks like he's going to just roll up to the brown. Brown ball. Doesn't want to leave this short. Foul. Oh, that's the worst possible outcome. Three long one. One of Sullivan four. Free ball. Two very tensitive shots now. The black where he didn't get position. Running in behind the brown there. That's the professional player's absolute worst nightmare. Obviously, you're conscious of hitting it too hard. But to not reach is an absolute nightmare. And that won't help him settle down at all. Sullivan five. Obviously no miss called there as he's in the snooker's required stage put there himself because he didn't reach the brown. He was still in the frame at that point. And Ronnie doing his job very well there, keeping the pressure on him.
very interesting choice of shot there, I think, from Ronnie. On a lot of other occasions, he would have just had a dip at the red in the green pocket, tried to finish the frame off. But the last thing he wants to do is miss the ball and give Zhao an opportunity to get his arm going, have more time on the table and potentially play on for snookers. So, choosing to keep the game tight. And that just shows his vast experience. Well, he knows as well. This is a very big day for Zhao. Playing against the best player, certainly, I've ever seen in the sport. Out in the main arena, national TV. This is probably as big as it gets for him, so Ronnie's well aware that he'll be under it. He's got to try and put that pressure on and keep it on him. And all the great champions over the years, they've all started quickly. Right. Steve Davis, Stephen Hendry's right out the block straight away. Win that first frame, put a marker down. And whilst Ronnie did miss a red, a mid-range one in the, earlier in this frame, oh. Xiao didn't capitalise. And it sounds like I'm being harsh to him, Sean, but you know what I mean. He's, you, when those 14. opportunities come, particularly early in the match, you've got to take them. Well, they don't come with Ronnie very often at all. Again, as I know myself, you get, you know, you might get a chance of frame 17. if at all. And so when they come, even in an early stage like this, in the first frame of a match like this, you really do have to stand all over those chances. 21. And as we've said many, many times, this man can run frames off better and quicker and faster than anyone else, so he doesn't want to let him go too far. Yeah, I'd make the suggestion if the 26. chance that Shaw had in the first frame was big, in the second frame, it's going to be huge if he gets one. Well, it's not there. 26 on the frame. Not just had to say thank you very much. That's enough. And Ronnie O'Sullivan, aided by a break of 66, takes the opening frame, and he leads 1-0.